Hi, welcome back to the channel where we make educational technology easy for you. Now, as we are in the holiday season and Christmas is fast approaching, a little bonus video, and this video is all about the Santa Tracker. Let's dive into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. If you've never used the Santa Tracker before, this year is the perfect year to get started. Many activities have been added, and there are some lesson plans that you as an educator can use. Now, you can find the Santa Tracker by surfing to santatracker.google.com and you are greeted with this view. Now, as you can see, when I scroll down, there are many different areas of the Santa Tracker. Now we are on this page and each of these houses are a different activity. Now, many of these activities are games, but there are also many educational activities available. You can press the play button to get started, or you can manually scroll down and find an activity you like. I will walk you through many of these activities in this tutorial, and as you can see, each of these activities has an indicator at the top, rather it's a game, 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 or a learning activity. You can see learn here. Now many of the learning activities have different topics, and when you go into the menu, you can select Santa Tracker for Educators. Now, when you go to Santa Tracker for Educators, this brings up all the games for the classroom. Now you have geography, computer science, languages, social studies, many more. And here you can see, you can learn about holiday traditions. You can do some coding. You can create a snowflake. Again, this is a coding activity. You can learn about languages and translations and different greetings in different languages. Here you have a code boogie where you code the elves to do a dance move and you have to copy each other's moves. Many different games available. So let's go back to the home page and let me walk you through some of my favorites. Now the first one here is the elf maker. Now this is a very basic game where you design your own elf. So you can choose the figure, you can choose the different skin colors, just as you would do with the Androidify. You can choose different hairstyles. You can do whatever you want to do. Once you have an elf that you like, you can press the share button, which is going to allow you to share your image with the rest of the world. You can also go to the next game, which is what we're going to do now. Let's move on to the next game. Now, the second game is this boogie game. Now you can see we have the arrows here and this is where you play a game of simple reaction and you need to try and match all the arrows to the music. So we have right, right, up. We have up, down, right, left, down, right, left, up, etc, etc. This is a very well-known game and many of your students will love playing this. Now when you click on the menu, you can go to the next game. So let's go ahead and do that now. This is our next game, and this is very similar to a traditional arcade game. So here we have to try and catch all of the presents. So let's go ahead and do that now. And there we go. We now have to make sure that we catch all the falling presents and falling elves. There we go. I have to direct the elves to go and gather the presents. Now let's go back to Santa's village. So let's click on the menu, Santa's village. This is our home page, and here you can see we have the elf maker, we have the rap battle, which we've already looked at. We also have translations, but my favorite is the code lab. Now there are a number of coding games in this. So we have the code lab, we also have the code a snowflake and others. But let's have a look at the code lab. In CodeLab, we are presented with a similar layout as Code.org, where it starts off very basic. So you have your top piece and then your bottom piece, just like a puzzle, and it teaches you the, the basic action of linking up blocks of code. Now we're going to move on to the next challenge, and as you can see, these get increasingly more difficult, but your young learners are going to absolutely love this new environment and this Christmas-themed coding experience. So let's go to the next challenge, and here we have a different challenge we have to move up so what we're going to do is when run i'm going to move north but i'm going to move north two steps there we go and we're going to run this code all done the elf has gathered the presents let's go to the next challenge and this is a slightly more challenging one we have to move north we have to move north a second time and then we have to move west 
There we go, we're going to run the code. The elf is going to start walking and is going to get the present. Now, as you can see, this is all very similar to code.org and you can also click on view code, which is then going to show you the JavaScript code used. Let's go to the next challenge. And as you can see, these get increasingly more difficult. In my opinion, an incredibly fun coding activity. Let's go back to Santa's village. And when I scroll down here, we have a geography activity where we can learn about different holiday traditions. We also have the Santa postcards. And I'm just going to quickly demonstrate this because this is yet another coding activity. Here, you can use code down the bottom to create different snowflakes. This is very similar to the Scratch Junior layout that we are familiar with from mobile apps. So we have when press run, we're going to draw and you can change the pen color used. And then we're going to draw this shape. We can also add angles and we can even add another shape. So let's do that right now. Let's run the code and you can see it's going to repeat and go round to create a snowflake. This is a great little introduction activity, or if you have an extra five minutes, your children will really enjoy this. Now again, all these apps and all these games work on mobile, so they are in the cloud. They work on a Chromebook, Mac, PC, or any mobile device. Let's have a look at some of the other ones. Here we have the code boogie where you have to try and recreate someone else's dance moves. So we have a dance class or a dance freestyle. Let's do the class so I can show you what it's like. And here we have two elves dancing. Now the first elf is going to do a move. And there we go. We now have to recreate that using our own code. So point left, point right. And let's execute this dance move. And there we go. And that's our move. Now, as you can see, the challenges will also get increasingly more difficult. Great fun if your children are looking for something a bit more entertaining around the holidays. We're going to go back to the Santa's Village. And as you can see, we have many more games available in Santa's Village. Now here it says, come back on the 24th and help us track Santa all night. That's going to be a live tracker where you can see Santa traveling around the world to deliver his presents. And that's all for this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you've never used Santa Tracker, this year is the year that you should be checking it out. Now, if you are an educator looking to use the Santa Tracker, you can also click on Santa Tracker for Education. Scroll all the way down and here you will find different lesson plans. You can use these lesson plans with your students or you can use them for homeschooling. I hope you found this helpful and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. And there you have it, you can start tracking Santa's movements. Now I hope you found this helpful and if you did, don't forget to like it. I will see you again next week with another flipped classroom tutorial. Thank you for watching.